So what was the rehearsal process like? Uh, well, we started out, um, the, the, the show's called uh, Phrases to be Used Upon, and it, it was taken from uh, a line from a Virginia Woolf book, The oh, Waves. Okay. Yeah. So that was on it, and the whole thing is about communication and miscommunication and people not connecting and in our lives and how we present ourselves and what's really going on. So mm -hmm. in the piece, it was, so we had those two like interior and exterior elements. And that's why we use like, the, uh, there was like voiceover, so people would mind the words, but someone else saying it to them, yeah. so the person's presenting themselves, but. That was fascinating, yeah. that was. <laughs> And what it does is it makes you look at the person who's saying the words mm. at the microphone. Mm. So I was always searching for whose voice it was. Yeah, it's a bit Wizard of Oz, isn't it? It's yeah. Like <laughs> there, was one, there was one bit where there's a guy doing the voice, but he stood behind a musician. Yes. And I, I kind of got irritated because I was like, I want to see who's actually speaking. Right, right. Yeah, there was the one stand-up. But everyone else is at lighting yeah. tables, yeah. But the process of it, so Anne and Nina, yeah. um, uh, who developed it, so they kind of had a broad idea of what they wanted to do, and they had like different situations and characters, and a lot of it is like uh, either overheard uh, conversations or stories that people have told them or things that they picked mm. up from reading and stuff like that. So it's all grounded in a reality so in the, in the fact it's not the words themselves aren't necessarily fiction but okay. they just become fictionalized in the setting of the show yeah and so in the uh, the process so we had a workshop and so they had like tons and tons of material and so we were like trying out different scenes and having different people doing different scenes and in the beginning you know because um we had the mind and the mm. voiceover part, so we just did away with that in the beginning and just had people, you know, so you could get a sense of character. So people just speaking. So we did yeah. the voiceover part came came over later, and different, you know, and all of us tried like different characters and different mm. ways, and and the whole thing, you know, and trying to um, so create a, a series of scenes that you know had a a particular theme and, and a tone to them, but you know. With Variations. So how did you become your character, your ah. high, high face character? <laughs> how was that decided? Oh, well, it yeah. very you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Anne says. She goes, you couldn't imagine anybody else yeah. <laughs> has cake face other than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, because I'm a bit of a, a goof off, I think, and, um, you know. You volunteered. Yeah, it just, I yeah. just it really appealed to me. There's the, the slapstick element yeah. of it, you know. I always fancy who, you know, what, you know, comic mm. actor doesn't want a pie in the face, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's just like, just takes you right back to, to basics. So, uh, so, what worked for me about that was when you sat there after, yeah. you did it, and you just had this straight, I mean, you couldn't see your face that well. Cause yeah, it no, I didn't green, move, yeah. But it was just that you didn't react and you didn't move. That's didn't what worked. Move. Yeah, yeah, it was really good that they did it, and the walls have already come down, so there's this inner and outer thing, mm -hmm. which becomes visible, but I'm still, like, at the center of it, and so kind of, in some ways, kind of linking the, the, the two of them. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it was for a degree, yeah, was it? Yeah, so it's their BA final show, and so from this, they do all the documentation, there'll be a film and photos and other sketches mm. and they've got a model set and then everything gets submitted for the degree show. So were your rehearsals all at St. Martin's? Yeah, everything, yeah. We, we, were, we had a studio um, upstairs and luckily, as you know, as you know, it's important to have dimensions, right? Yeah, Because <laughs> yeah. it's a really large stage and so we went down to the stage and go, this is so vast, it's but so the set yeah. is really constricting, yeah. and so in the studio we had it taped out, so it was roughly the, the same size. But of course we didn't, because of the studio, because there's such vast space behind mm. it on the stage, you know, for the mics and the costumes and everything, so that all kind of got, kind of got skewed. But yeah, so we just developed the workshop and different mm. people tried out different characters in different ways, and we were always like, very conscious, like the whole thing could go like really high pitched, really easily, because some of them are, you know, emotional mm. scenes, but then it's this sort of like Scandi sensitivity to it, yeah. you know? <laughs> so they wanted they, to keep that kind of deadpan like, kind of. Yeah. Were the directors happy with the show? How it yeah, went? they're excited. Because it yeah. seemed to be really, yeah. really good. 
And, you know, as you saw, it was the most elaborate, yeah, you know, and ambitious. It, it looked like they put a hell of a lot of work into so it. So much. I mean, mm. day and night. And it was quite long night. as well, wasn't it? Yeah, most pieces were like 10, and then we had 25, and then, you know, being first, you get a yeah. little uh, bonus, so you can do some pre show stuff. Oh, the tableau as the audience walked in. Oh, it was with, my favorite bit. Yeah. yeah, with live musicians in the yeah. back doing improv. Jazz. But they yeah. just seem to have amazing facilities there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You didn't even see the orchestra pit. <laughs> I'm really quite jealous. Where was the orchestra pit? Well, it's I just in front of I the stage and you don't see it. It's covered oh, it's over. Covered. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, so it's there. I know with the lighting and the, you know, they got the booth upstairs. I mean, we had a green room with the telly. So who were the musicians? Did they? Um, they were from Trinity. Oh, okay. So Nina and Ann had uh, collaborated. Uh, uh, with Maddie, the, the composer, before they did a, mm. a piece um, at Trinity School, mm. and so some just, and so they they devised a piece with them like that, and so they they wanted to bring him back in to help mm. him. So he composed all the music. Are well, the they in their final year? Yeah. So this is the final month. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> just about. Wow. Well, I'm sure they're really proud of their piece. Yeah. So, yeah, it was really nice because I knew them from, I did, you know, Yumi Bum Bum Train uh, yeah. a couple of years ago, and they were involved in that, not as performers, they were what we call the scene leaders, mm. like directing the scenes, and um, they, uh, they made, uh, part of my costume, they made me a little tie, and the shoes they picked out for me, the shoes that I wore last night, so we said, we decided to bring back my Bum Bum Train outfit. <laughs> <laughs> The tie's been lost. Never but throw your costume away. No, I haven't, no, that costume's come in so handy. <laughs> and so much. But yeah, so the, yeah, so we had this workshop thing, and um, the casting was really an interesting part because I was asked, and there's a, a student there they know mm. um, that they worked with before, and so he was asked. And there's another guy who works in student services, and he seems to like volunteer for projects, and he, mm -hmm. he does some Amdram stuff. So he got asked, and then everybody else came through a Mandy casting service. And okay. we had like, yeah. we, we had a bit of churn at first, so we were just doing workshops and, and trying things out. And, and some people coming in and they were thinking, you know, like it was gonna be like theater, theater, mm -hmm. you know? And so we, we lost people along the way <laughs> in the <laughs> workshops. So like, yeah, right before rehearsal started, yeah. we, were, we were down two people. And just like magically we got, mm. you know. and then, then we got the mix of ages too, so we had mm. like, um, you know, like half were like older people and half were younger people. It wasn't by design, it just sort of mm. happened that way.